There are over 16 million refugees worldwide, and over half are children. Six million are primary or secondary school age going children. Only 22% of refugee adolescents attend secondary school. Kakoma in Kenya is among the largest refugee camps in the world. It hosts around 162,000 people, mainly from South Sudan and Somalia. It's also the camp with one of the highest number of unaccompanied and separated children. 14,000 minors have come here alone or with relatives, but without their parents. Kakuma is taking special care of them. Primary schools here have an average of 140 students per class. In the rest of Kenya, the standard is 40. In spite of that, the camp has a 96% pass rate, the highest in the county. Today we are talking about 76% enrollment in primary schools alone, but then we have a big percentage that are above the school age. 40% of our learners in primary are actually over age. Gad Kuth is from South Sudan. He is 18 and is in sixth grade, intended for 11-year-old children. In his class, there is also a 45-year-old student. I was in a bad situation. My mother did me to Dago and, 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 and my father has no good job. That's why at least I say I don't be seven years without school. I can't learn in school. I want to know everything in this world. Gadkuth also lost his father during the civil war in Sudan. To address situations like his, the EU Humanitarian Aid Department has financed an accelerated education program implemented by the Lutheran World Federation that runs Kakuma's 21 primary schools and its five secondary schools. There are even some adults in the primary schools, but mainly children who have lost up to seven years of school because of the war. Absolutely, they have lost many years, and what we do is to try to offer them an adapted education in a way they can do the usual eight years of primary education in four. This way we accelerate the process in order to let them catch up and later maybe access secondary education. The camp's childcare system ensures that unaccompanied children receive the appropriate support. Gadkuth was placed into a foster family belonging to his same tribe in South Sudan. He has seen murders, fights which resulted in him suffering from trauma. He also has a temporary speech impediment. In spite of the efforts of the camp, the situation is tough for him and his new family. Fostering Gatkuth is difficult because it's not easy to obtain enough money to support him and also my own children. The solution could be to take him to the boarding school where he could forget his trauma. We move to a more remote part of the camp in the early morning to visit one of Kakuma's boarding schools. It is a special one, as it is intended for girls at risk. Students of the primary school, funded and supported by the actress Angelina Jolie, have already stood out for the results in national exams. Seven centimeters. I know in future I will stay alone, and it can help me with my children or I want to learn. I, I want to understand something which is good or bad. Rose, a South Sudanese, is 15 years old and is one of the 250 students at the school. She was brought to the camp by force. She has now found a place where she is safe and where she can attend a high-level school for deserving students. There's a man who was our neighbor. He kidnapped me. He brought me here in Ikakuma. I asked him about school. I told him I want to learn. He told me he did not brought me here to learn. He brought me as his wife. Each girl has a past to overcome and, thanks to education, new opportunities to look ahead. In about three years, the accelerated learning program is expected to move the majority of the overage students to higher education. The challenge is to find the resources to build new schools and raise the secondary education enrollment rate over the current 2%.